we have a new patch, but this time it's a bit different. The patch came out before the patch notes. So not sure what is in it, but there are a few things we have discovered, like this pile of skulls here in World 2. So this is the Kilroy thing. Spend your skulls here now, they reset each week. But let's check this out. We have Warrior Warrior, okay, that's good. Let's do the easy one. We have a timer. Oh, use it, use it. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, I also changed this skill. Attacks refresh flame, but you move super slow. That's a shame we used explosion so quickly. But this is pretty cool. Nothing really to do here, but oh well. I don't think Barbarian is the best class here. That is most likely the Shaman, as always, because they don't seem to have a lot of HP. That means you can just smoke the entire screen here, and well, if you do that, well, uh, everyone will die. You get a lot of kills. Select a permanent upgrade for all future runs. One second timer. Thank you for that. Oh no, a skull. Oh man, there was a skull on the ground. Okay, we have seven. Too bad we didn't get ten. But for now, let's continue with the patch. There is another item added. There's a helmet. Real civil engineer helmet. Not sure how to get it. It's not in the anvil. Level to craft five. Level to equip one. Strength two, wisdom four, defense six. 100% fellow engineer. Hmm. Maybe it's a joke hat. Who knows? And then there was the blood berserker change we saw before. You move super slow. My movement speed is only 60%. But here's a more exciting change. Let's head to world three. You can now build another 3D printer level. Why is that, you ask? Well, that is because we now have another player slot. That's right. We can make a new character, and we will do so soon. Here in the gem shop, you can also buy another souped-up tube, because you have more characters now. I will not buy this one, I think, because, well, my goal is to have less people in the lab, not more. Okay, let's try it with the shaman. Okay, that's how it works. The warrior was not randomized, or depending on my class, it was simply because, well, the room told me to get a warrior. And let's go. We have one second more now, and you're not getting any XP here, but it seems to be the same monster stats, so they have 11,000 HP. What the hell is this? Go down there, please. Um, hello? Oh man. Oh, talent drops. Well, that was interesting. Seems they spawn in different places. So one area can have lots of them. Wake up Kilroy early, opening all rooms for the 300 gems. Nah, it's fine. We will come back in 11 hours and do it again. Get a random time candy. Black pearl, white pearl. Class XP, yes. And this gives skill XP. Who next kill spawns one crystal mob. Get a dungeon loot dice. Three kitchen ladles. Two pet eggs. Complete one refinery cycle automatically, right here, right now. Now, does this cost you materials? My guess is that it does. It's like the Squire ability. And we get two books and get six balls. Wow, that's garbage. Let's give this one a try. Hey, a new item as well. So at 206, we get, well, let's see. Um, well, I didn't see that, but not that much. Ah, oh, it's annoying. He's right at the edge there, and I think this guy is also right at the edge. And there we go. He's level up. Gonna make sure I loot it properly. And let's see how much we get here. Oh, wow, like 67 million. 3%. Yeah, so it's um, it's not massive, but it's something. Loot dice is pretty good to have. If you're like me and rarely do dungeons. Maybe the world four stuff well it depends on what you need and i think that's it for the patch let's go to play menu and create a new character hooray look at this big brain major there's a new star sign the bulwark what the hell sir savvy major mob respawn rate if level and 60 i'm not sure what this means but i'm not sure if it's level below or level above hmm i think i would take the hydron cosmos as my star sign yes very useful what is the best one? Ooh, AFK gain, maybe. This, if you are active all the time, seems really good for a new character. And here are the usual ones. Fuzzy dice. But we are not doing that. We are taking the... I think about AFK gain. Total damage isn't worth much on a new character. Here we go. Do we have new hats as well? No, we do not. Um, I guess we'll take the traffic cone. I'm not sure if I have all the hats or not. Here we go. Like and sub. Oh no, it's taken. 
And here we have subscribe to me. Unlike other YouTubers, I pretty much never say subscribe and stuff like that. I don't have that animation that so many YouTubers have. You know, click bell and subscribe button. So hey, this guy can do it for me. And there we go. Subscribe to me is born. Drop this hat, make sure we have it. Now I'm gonna do some 10 character challenge here. I'm not gonna touch anything special. How many points do we have? 88 points, wow. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. We already complete this many quests. I think this guy is pretty damn good. At level one, I have 7,000 to 17,000 damage. And these are my stats. There are people in world two with less stats than this. And I can actually get more star signs. Well, no, I can't. I have to make it to the that place first. But I can go to the different worlds and yeah. But that's it for now. I will make another video where I play this guy. Okay, while I've been recording this, Lava actually posted patch notes. So let's take a look at those. He posted it six minutes ago. He's still typing it. Well, that's annoying. Now we're gonna wait for him to type it. Tenth character slot. Google search FIFA 21 cover if you wanna be part of the inside joke. Okay, so this is the meme he was talking about. Yeah, I guess this looks very silly. But anyway, this is the patch note. New content. Kilroy Slaughterhouse. Enter a randomly selected room each week and defeat as many monsters as you can. It's like the Colosseum, but you don't need to worry about points or waves or keeping track of spawn locations. Just get in there and wreck hundreds of mobs. Kilroy Skull Shop. Spend skulls you earn from the slaughterhouse rooms on 10 different rewards from XP Pearls to library checkouts. 10th character slot now available. Hooray! Hey, that's a lot of character, my, my, my. And then we have balance changes. Auto loot now triggers just 15 seconds after an item drops. It used to be 120 seconds. This will feel a lot more looty-ish. I still don't have the auto loot. I'm thinking about buying it and maybe try to do some active play. But we shall see. Blood Berserker's in-flame mechanic is way better. You still need to attack to keep it alive, but it no longer goes away if you move. Instead, you just move super slowly. I think we get like 60% movement speed. We did a small test with that. Okay, Lava Flame is typing. Come on, type faster, Lava. I guess I can just end the video and come back in a minute or so. Okay, the patch has ended. So now Lava is just doing uh, some fun stuff here at the bottom. Raise your hand if you're hyped for I don't know, World 5. Raise your hand if you're hyped for I don't know, World C or N. Raise your hand if you're confused why I'm future content blogging in the patch notes. Raise your hand. And while he's doing that, we can check out the last part here. And now they are gone. But hey, you got to see them anyway. And Blood Berserker, yes, you no longer move. Blood Berserker's rate of swipe no longer triggers infinitely. Instead, it will re-trigger at an 8% rate. And if you're ready for World 5 now, can you even reach the last mob? No. I'm still trying to get to the last mob in World 4. Instead, it will re-trigger at an 8% rate. It can re-trigger infinitely if you infinitely hit the 80% though. Yeah, there was a way using this skill that you could kill E-Font with the shield up. It still took like an hour to do it, so I never tried it. Now you may not be able to do it, or it will just take you even longer. The Eldritch Frog drops that other people put in the cauldron now correctly works for all players in the party. And that's good. I think that's for summoning the Force Frog, but you had to do it on your own for some reason. Unlike all the other frogs, but yeah, now it's a team effort again. Anyway, that's it for the patch. I guess I can mention that the contest 45 has ended again. I did not win, but that's fine. And I post this art upgrade of Eidolon. How it will look in the future. Uh, I think I had a phone call right there when I was saying something. Um. Oh, look at this. While I was having my phone call, this came out. I don't even need a reason to give out free gems. Just watch. I'll give 4,000 to 7 people a react with gem. Awesome, skill-based deserving winners who won for a good reason will be selected June 12. Man, things keep happening while I'm recording this video. You only get the freshest content on this channel. Oh, he's typing again. What will it be? Hello? I saw you typing. Why are you not continue typing? Oh no, he changed his mind. There has to be a reason. What do we have to do? Yes, we are waiting. He's typing. Yes, Lava Flame. Okay, I had my second phone call during this recording. For each number below with an even hundred number of reacts, 246, etc., like 643 or 1203, I will add 1000 to the prize pool. For each number below with an odd hundred number of reacts, like 346 or 17, I will remove. Okay, so if we keep everything at 200, it will work. Oh, never mind. Most importantly, for each number that has less reacts than the previous number, I will remove one winner. You have been warned. 
I mean, we could still keep everything in the 200 range. What the hell? Look at this. Are we being trolled? Oh no, it should be like this, right? This should be the highest, this is the lowest. So that's good. But we just need 100 more people here. Oh well, it will come. So yes, the best result will be something like 200 blah 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 reacts. Yes. If we could keep everything into 200 and similar to this, it would be fine. And let's get a few reactions here. And yeah, time to end the video. Go make your 10th character. Go make the 3D printer. And yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.